Hello everyone and to celebrate my comeback, I decided to create something new for the channel, which is called the Weekend Tips. Basically, I will pick one thing that I think is worthwhile sharing with everybody really quickly, make a video, it could be something to do with editing or camera reviews or anything that is super quick and I will share over the weekend. So let's go for the first one. I hope you guys enjoy it. So welcome to the very first The Weekend Tips. And today we're going to speak about an, a feature that Premiere Pro has. And I think that is quite important, especially if you have longer edits or edits that you've been working for hours and hours. And perhaps our little buddy, Adobe Premiere Pro CC will crash. That can actually literally crash your day. So let's, let's do this. So if you click on Premiere Pro CC and then you go preferences and scroll down to autosave, this screen will pop up and that's the autosave screen. That's what we selected. So basically as the first option here, you can actually turn on and off the option to automatically save your projects. I do think that is a great option to have on. So basically just turn on the automatically save projects. And then here you can select the interval in between the auto saves. Um, I have here as five minutes. As default, Premiere Pro selects 15 minutes and 15 minutes for me is too long. Um, I think five minutes is the sweet spot. It is just perfect for me. I don't have less than five minutes. You're going to have the screen popping up all the time saying project save, project save. And that's not what we want. I mean, that's not what I want. Uh, so I think five minutes is a good number. Maximum project versions every 10, sorry, Maximum project versions means that Premiere Pro automatically will create a, a new version of that project file. So I used to have, I don't know, maybe 25 here, but completely unnecessary. I do think that 10 versions is more than enough for me. It all depends on what you prefer. I mean, perhaps you want to set this number to 100 and you can go back 100 times that, oh, that Premiere Pro saved your project. And then perhaps you made a mistake, I don't know, 50 versions before and you can just go back and then you have that project saved however i don't think that is necessary for me so i only have this set to 10 and the last but not least which is a great option as well is save backup to project create oh, oh, pff, oh jesus christ what was that save backup to, oh my god i can't say that save project oh my god save backup project to creative cloud that will basically save your project to Adobe Cloud to your profile. So you have in a second or even on a third medium saved and you super safe peace of mind. You don't have to worry about not having your project file. And then to finalize that, you click on OK and you are done. We're done here. And that was the weekend tip of today, guys. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.